it's middle of the night and Apollo Hospital's representative is here at the Indira Gandhi International Airport, Delhi to receive Curtis McCormack, who has arrived from the US for surgical treatment. For Curtis, India is hope for his ailment. Checkup's done and Curtis is all set for surgery. Hoping nervously that his decision of opting India and Apollo Hospital proves right. Over the past few years, India has emerged as an international destination for healthcare. It has beckoned many medical tourists like Curtis, who, faced with the problem of long waiting and expensive medical treatment back home, find India as an answer to their healthcare needs. The prime advantage to the international patients is the cost saving with respect to medical consultancy or surgeries. Many of the Indian hospitals serving international patients have state-of-the-art infrastructure, highly educated doctors and top-notch services. But the figure on that price tag is just a fraction of what it would be in developed countries and in addition what they get is a chance to see India. The land of great wonders and one of the oldest civilizations of the world has captivated the imagination of its visitors with its unique diversity, exceptionally beautiful landscape, brilliant historical monuments and fascinating cultural heritage. India has always been one of the most fascinating tourist spots in the world. Beautiful valleys, hill stations, exotic beaches and backwaters. India has so much to offer. That's why India is a perfect destination for any medical tourist who wants to combine healthcare with holidays. An estimated 150,000 medical tourists visit India every year and the figure is rising by 15% annually. The Confederation of Indian Industry and McKenzie Report suggest that medical tourism could fetch as much as 2 billion US dollars by 2012 compared to an estimated 333 million US dollars currently. These figures are recognition of India's emergence as preferred healthcare destination. Hospitals are an important component of healthcare delivery system and there has been a silent revolution by Indian hospitals across the country. A phenomenal expansion and modernization is noticeable. Leading the pack is Apollo Group, the largest hospital group in India and the third largest in the world. With over 8,000 beds in more than 41 hospitals, dual lines of pharmacies and diagnostic clinics Apollo hospitals are providing a safety net across Asia. There is a checklist and all the things that you have to check. With high success rate in medical procedures, Apollo hospitals have been winning the confidence of international patients, making sure they feel at home. We've treated uh, patients now from 55 countries. Uh, the range of procedures for which they come has increased so they're coming in for the most complex of procedures you know they're not just coming in for uh, cardiac conditions but they're coming in for complicated neurosurgery they're coming in for cancer surgery they're coming for something as complicated as a liver transplant we're also seeing a large number of children come in uh, and this is because uh, tertiary uh, pediatrics uh, the really really specialized uh, pediatric services are not available in many many countries in the world so I think that uh, has has uh, been a new development and, and that I think is, is this whole concept of medical tourism where people look at a value proposition, uh, they look at success rate, they look at quality, they look at costs and are willing to travel uh, huge distances. Uh, Ten years ago, a patient coming in from, uh, from the United States or the United Kingdom was really uh, unthinkable but that is now a reality. Curtis 
is on his way to recovery. So how's our patient doing? He's doing well. He's Any pain? Yeah. His surgery was successful. To the toilet. He looks relieved and happy with his decision to have chosen India for his surgery. At first I wasn't sure. I mean, I've never traveled to Europe and I've never been to uh, Asia before. So I, I wasn't you know, sure if I was making the right choice uh, until I talked to the doctor. And then at that point I knew that this is what I was supposed to do. So after I talked with uh, Dr. Prasad, then, uh, then I was okay with it. You know, everything was good at that point. And they've taken, taken really good care of me. So yeah, it's worked out really well for me. Since I'm here, I have to go see uh, the Taj Mahal. Curtis now plans to visit the Taj Mahal at Agra, one of the seven wonders of the world and pride of India. Dr. Devi Shetty, a human face, a tireless crusader to bring health care to common man and to the children of the world. A child in pain from India or Pakistan or Bangladesh, pain is universal. Pain, the feeling of pain is the same whether you are an American or an Indian. So there is no really different. It's just that we have built artificial boundaries just for to protect our interest. Upon his arrival from the UK, Dr. Shetty set up Asia Heart Foundation, a non-profit organization in Kolkata. It was his association with Mother Teresa as her personal cardiac surgeon, where he observed first-hand charitable work, which set the direction for his ambition in healthcare. Later, Dr. Shetty founded state-of-the-art hospital, Narayana Rudiale, which means God's compassionate home in the southern Indian city of Bangalore. His endeavor of making sophisticated healthcare available to the masses of the world is eternal. Only 8% of the world's population can afford a heart operation. For 92% of the people living on this planet, heart surgery is a dream. Why? Because it is too expensive. We have a fantastic product, but very few people can afford to buy it. It is pointless we talking about all the developments in healthcare. It's pointless we talking about fantastic treatment for heart disease or a cancer or whatever. If a poor people, if poor people cannot afford it, if a solution is not affordable, it is not a solution. Today, some of the world's most experienced doctors in their respective fields have joined Dr. Shetty in the mission of healthcare. Narayana Hridayale has been attracting patients from across the world. And this heart surgeon, by his treatment, care and compassion, has become king of hearts to many. Many people, I see many cases here, he saved the life. Really, too much. And my son is one of them. Dr. Shati and Dr. Shikarao, the surgery, doctor surgery. And I said, I, I said many things for them because they save our baby life. Every time me and my wife also, we thanks God and we wish for them everything good for these people because they save this life. Indian hospitals offer the best treatments in modern medicine and in every medical division such as cardiology, joint replacement, orthopedic surgery, pediatric surgery, eye care, cosmetic surgery and dental surgery to name a few. There is also a gamut of services ranging from general radiography to high-end services like magnetic resonance imaging, digital subtraction angiography, 
along with intervention procedures and nuclear imaging. All medical investigations are conducted on the latest technologically advanced diagnostic equipment. Stringent quality assurance exercises ensure reliable and high quality test results. There are at least 100 medical institutions in this country where we have best of the equipments in the world and the latest which is available anywhere in the world. If I can tell you one you know, word about the success rate what we get, the success rate stage per stage is practically the same what one can get anywhere in the world like US or UK. Successful surgery of this nature would have made any doctor in the world proud. Indian doctors at India's premier medical institute, All India Institute of Medical Sciences at New Delhi, have added another feather to their cap by having successfully used a robo to perform complex chest surgery. Robotic surgery is touted to be the future of all surgeries and doctors in India have already adapted to this new technology for all complicated surgeries. As far as the application of robotic surgery is concerned, which is the latest development in surgical field, we, we have been able to apply it almost everything which is available in the West. So it's urological operations, cardiac operations, chest surgical operations, all these which can be done anywhere in the Western world are available at a much cheaper rate and with equal if not more success in our country. We are coming from Iraq, uh, both of us, uh, I am a doctor in Iraq and also my father is doctor of engineering. He also previously was the dean of college of, Medic of uh, engineering in Iraq. So he is suffering from imbalance for about uh, two years ago. Uh, there is no treatment available there in Iraq. So we are seeking for medical advice all over the world and they advise us to go to India because of the development in the medical field, you know, and the good hospital here. So we are uh, traveling from Iraq to here so as to uh, get the best medical care. India has a large pool of over half a million doctors. These doctors are product of top-rated medical education system in India. The highly selective and stringent admission procedures ensure that only the best brains make it to medical colleges, which are comparable with the best in the world. Having received the basic medical education in India and specialization and super specialization in UK or US, Indian doctors have proved their finesse internationally. Today, Indian doctors are treating patients in hospitals around the world and have won the admiration of the world population. Especially for this, my problem, my baby problem. I hear this, uh, only the hospital here, they have professional doctor, even around the world, even you will make it in Europe or America or any another place, you will find also the Indian doctors there. So I think it will be here in the home of the doctors, Indian. They are professional, they can make this very easy for them. That's why I decided to come here. Apart from doctors, there are highly trained nursing staff and paramedics who are the support pillar to the Indian healthcare industry. Like the doctors, the nursing staff and paramedics go through rigorous training from nursing and paramedic schools spread across India. These well-trained paramedics and nursing staff are recognized internationally for their skill, fluency in English language and of course care. A continuous churning of medical talents coupled with doctors with international exposure is what has been providing the required impetus to Indian healthcare industry and winning the confidence of international patients. India's healthcare industry derives unflinching support from the vibrant pharmaceutical industry. Indian pharma industry is estimated to be worth 6 billion US dollars and is among the top three generic producers and top three API producers globally. The key strengths of the pharma market are strong manufacturing base, well-established network of laboratories, research and development infrastructure, highly trained pool of scientists and professionals and world-class quality products. From simple headache pills like aspirin, 
to sophisticated antibiotics like cephalosporins and beta-lactams and complex cardiac compounds, calcium channel blockers, nifidipins, SM lot pins. Almost every type of medicine is now made indigenously. India produces the largest number of doctors in the world. We produce over 32,000 doctors a year. We produce the largest number of nurses in the world. We produce the largest number of medical technicians in the world. Outside USA, we have the largest number of US FDA approved pharmaceutical uh, manufacturing units. We, if we are allowed, we can make medicines for the whole world. So we have everything required to offer wonderful healthcare delivery. Mr. Kapoor, how are you? I'm okay. Technology has indeed transformed the way people communicate today. The world is experiencing it and so is India. Indian hospitals invoked technology to bring healthcare through telemedicine to people across the globe. Telemedicine is the delivery of medicine at a distance and refers to the use of communications and information technology for delivery of clinical care to the patients. Expertise of various Indian hospitals is appreciated throughout the world and is attracting patients from all over. For long now, Dr. Mishra has worked untiringly in setting up Asia's first telemedicine school in the city of Lucknow. He believes telemedicine will play an important role in providing health care to international patients. One patient is coming uh, from another country to India. So before his arrival to a particular hospital, he can directly have an interview with a concerned doctor which, who is going to give him or her treatment. Even the technology permits transfer of all the medical records directly to this hospital in electronic means and also conduct a video conference with the doctor and clarify not only his diseases, whatever he has, whatever investigation he has carried out in the local country, but can look at the doctor's face who is going to treat the patient. That has a lot of impact in the medical scenario. If I know that who is going to treat me, that gives me a lot more confidence before I arrive in the hospital. Anish is doing a final check if all the arrangements are in place for his guests Terry and Heetha who are to arrive from the UK. Anish runs a travel and tour company. There are many government approved tour operators like Anish who are committed to providing best of services to medical tourists. In order to extend further comfort to medical tourists, the government of India has introduced a medical visa which allows an overseas patient to stay in India to have his or her medical needs met. Okay. So we need to fill up the police forms also. Okay. And it's supposed to be done within 24 hours. Terry and Heetha have arrived. Anish is here to receive them and to welcome them to God's own country, Kerala. Situated on the tropical Malabar coast of southwestern India, Kerala is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. Named as one of the 10 paradises of the world by the National Geographic Traveller, Kerala is immensely blessed by nature with lush vegetation, tranquil beaches, stunning mountains, wildlife, festivals and amazing backwaters. India is also known for its age-old alternative medical treatments. Ayurveda, which means science of life, is a 5,000-year-old medical system in India. Like many, Ayurveda has attracted Terry and Heetha to Kerala, who realize the possibilities of Ayurveda's efficacy for their perennial ailment. They have decided to shift their allegiance to Indian alternative therapies because these therapies are natural and have no side effects. Well, we've heard a lot about Kerala um, through the media and through magazines, the articles that we've read about the Ayurvedic treatment here in Kerala, it's supposed to be excellent. And um, my husband suffers with arthritis. Um, he's been through the yoga stage and all the things that they suggest is good for it. Um, also allopathic medicine. And decided that Ayurveda might be the answer, that it might improve it, so we decided we would come and investigate that. Um, I also have an asthma problem, 
Um, and really, basically, that's why we're here, is to take the Ayurvedic treatment and see if that will improve both our problems. Ayurveda is widely practiced in Kerala. While most healthcare systems focus on human body and its diseases, Ayurveda treats the complete person, mind, body and spirit. There are numerous Ayurveda resorts in Kerala. The Kerala therapeutic massages are famous all over the world for their rejuvenating properties. They have proved to be effective not only in relaxing the body and relieving stress, but also helping treat ailments such as arthritis, paralysis, obesity, migraine, premature aging and skin ailments. Kerala's equable climate, natural abundance of herbs and medicinal plants and trained hands have enabled in creating a popular tradition of refreshing and relaxing Kerala Ayurvedic massages. Terry and Heetha have decided to go for one of the most recommended activities while in Kerala to experience the backwaters at Elipi, an important tourist centre in Kerala because of its amazing backwaters. One of the memorable experiences for any tourist visiting Kerala is the opportunity to enjoy its backwaters on a houseboat. On the way, one can see the real Kerala village life. While Terry and Heetha have decided to explore more of Kerala, Curtis's fascinating journey to India is coming to an end. Curtis is returning home with a lot of fond memories. His trip to India was a success. As healthcare will remain one of the most indispensable sectors of a person's life, India will continue to remain in the forefront in offering healthcare to the world population. It will continue to heal the world with same care and warmth that has been India's centuries-old tradition. For India, its medical fraternity, its hospitals, its resorts, its beaches, its mountains, its wildlife, its monuments, and its people, Medical tourist will always be treated in the spirit of Atithi Devo Bhava, guest is God.